Sharing Christ is one of the targets of the bullseye and it, it may be for many mainline congregations one of the most challenging but I would have to say personally I, I really believe one of the most important. As you read through scripture almost almost every time what happens when someone meets Jesus they're so in awe, they're so excited, they're so thrilled, moved and stirred that they can't help but go and share this good news with somebody else. And, and evangelism in some ways some ways rightfully so has got a bad rap because it's been done sometimes very poorly and, and with, with a judgmental kind of attitude where someone shows up at your door and makes you feel bad. That's not what Jesus was about. The word evangelism literally means good news and so we're talking about being bearers of good news. And when you're a bearer of good news, that's a good thing. And in fact, Romans chapter 10 verse 15 says, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. And that's what we're talking about here. The other reality is today that we live in a world where people don't know that church is a place for them, where people don't know that they could walk through the doors any Sunday they want. And, and I know that sounds crazy, but I can't tell you how many times I've met with a couple about a wedding and they haven't been to church, if ever, for a long, long time. And they'll say to me something like this as they're leaving. They'll say, can anyone come to church on a Sunday morning? And of course I say, oh, absolutely, we, we'd love to have you. But that's the world we're living in today. So the, the sharing Christ idea, it really is one of the targets for this bullseye of a life that's aiming to follow Jesus. Here's some things that we've seen. We, we've seen people who when they've invited somebody or when they've shared their faith with somebody, they're just, they're so excited themselves to be sharing this good news. It's just a great thing to see. We're encouraging some practical things around our church these days. We, we, we say, hey, take 60 seconds longer in a conversation with somebody and, and just watch what God will do with that extra time. Uh, we're saying pray for people who you'd just like to share Christ with. Could be somebody in your family, could be a neighbor, could be a colleague, and just listen for God's nudges. Listen for God's leading, and if God leads you to make a connection there, just give it a shot and see what might happen. Again, just like all the targets here, it really is something that anybody can do, and it's so important, and really believe that God will bless your church as you lift up this value, this target of sharing Christ, again, for your church, but also in your own life as well. Thank you.